Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Josephine. Josephine is a very hard solitaire card game, one of the hardest out there. And the objective, like with many other solitaire card games, is simple. You want to move all of the cards from the tableau piles into the foundation piles. Um, and so essentially, you want to move all the cards, right? Uh, so that would be your 104 cards. Um, from the tableau to the foundation piles. Uh, the game is played using two standard 52 card decks. At the beginning of the game, uh, the player deals four cards each into 10 piles. So one, two, three, four cards into each pile. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 piles. This set of piles is known collectively as the tableau. All cards in the tableau are always turned face up. After dealing cards to the tableau, the remaining cards are set aside, forming a stock pile. You'll also have an empty waste pile, as well as eight empty foundation piles. In terms of the gameplay, on the tableau, cards are played in the descending order in the same suit. That means if you want to play one card onto another, it must be one rank lower in the same suit. This three of clubs is one rank lower than this four of clubs and is in the same suit, right? They are both clubs. Therefore, we can place this three of clubs onto the four of clubs, right? This ace of heart, uh, oh, actually that's a diamond, so that wouldn't work. Um, we don't really have another example here, but that essentially demonstrates uh, what I am talking about. Also note that uh, the top card or a group of in-sequence cards can be uh, moved between tableau piles. And so here at the start, only the top card of the tableau pile is being moved, right? In these piles here. This is because the top card is not in sequence with any other cards. Here, the four of clubs and the three of clubs are in sequence. Therefore, we can lift this entire pile versus lifting only a singular card. So you can lift a singular card, or you can move an entire pile between a tableau, provided the pile is built in sequence. What else, what else is there to highlight? Well, if you have an empty pile in the tableau, it can be filled with any card or any sequence of cards. Also, you can draw from the stockpile any time you will have to draw one card face up into the waste pile. You are only allowed to go through the stockpile once. Note that, since this is being played with two decks, you have double the amount of cards you would normally have. Well, not double, but uh, a larger number of cards than you would normally have in the stockpile. Thus, it is not uh, too big of a disadvantage to only be able to go through the stockpile once, but is it, it is a disadvantage nonetheless. So, foundation piles start from ace and get built up to king. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, the game is won once all the cards are moved onto the foundation piles. The game is lost if you run out of moves and you still have cards left. So, let us sum it up one more time. On the tableau, cards are played in descending order in the same suit. You can move a singular card or a pile of cards provided the pile of cards is in sequence. If you have an empty space on the tableau, it can be filled with any card or any sequence of cards. Um, moreover, um, if you have uh, uh, or want to right, deal from the stockpile, you can do so anytime by drawing one card face up into the waste pile. You are, are only allowed to go through the stockpile once. That's it for the rules. Let us get into playing a quick round of Josephine. Luckily for us, we have our Ace of Hearts there. And we have another Ace of Hearts there. And so that's two of our Aces already on the board. Uh, we have another Ace right there. Uh, but we cannot really move this Jack properly. And so now we sort of have to think, okay? We want to either get an Ace or a Two of Hearts. Now, our Two of Hearts is, doesn't exist anywhere here. So we can't really get it. Unfortunately, we cannot. What we'll try to do is we'll try to go for an ace. And to really do that, we'll sort of have to look and see what moves can be made. Now, 
Unfortunately, it does not really seem like any moves can be made. We don't have two cards that are one rank apart and in the same suit. So at this point, we'll have to draw. And this will happen, right? This king can't be placed anywhere other than an empty pile. The reason being, it is not one rank lower than anything. It is the highest rank in the game. So we don't have an empty pile, and so anytime you draw a king, it's sort of a waste. This eight of spades can be placed onto this nine, right? This eight of diamonds, unfortunately, cannot be used. Another eight of diamonds, and another king. So we're not having the best luck so far. Um, and we cannot really make use of this nine of hearts, even though I would have liked to build it on that eight. We're having a lot of kings right now, unfortunately. And this is quite bad for us. The reason being is that it prevents us from placing them and using them to build. We have our seven of clubs here, cannot be used, right? And so we'll simply continue. It's very unlikely that I'll go through the entire deck here, right? Because that will be quite time consuming. Uh, but we'll play for a little bit longer while we continue. And so right now we're under the mercy of the deck, right? Depending on what the deck gives us, uh, that really influences what moves we can make. Queen of Clubs, beautiful. That opens up the Jack of Clubs. Then go ahead and move the Ace of Hearts. Now, this opens up a lot more possibilities for us, and so that's great. Um, so we do have to st simply continue drawing. You may get into an a point where you simply have to keep drawing. Um, and it might get demoralizing, uh, but just continue doing it. Unfortunately, we have some low-ranking cards here that we're sort of losing uh, by not being able to play them, really. Um, and we have a really good card here in the Three of Spades, uh, but we're unable to play it right now. So that's unfortunate as well. But we simply continue playing. Five. Okay. Now, I can play this four. Right. Um, and that will allow me, wait, let me do this properly, that will allow me to play this 8. That 7 is behind this 9 and 8, so that's a bit of a catch-22 there. Um, but that's okay. And we simply continue playing like so. We have a large, nice sequence there, um, and so let us continue playing. Right, at certain points in the game, you could really only build sequences. Um, there's not really much else to do in terms of playing the game. This is quite good for us. That two of spades is beneficial. And that three of spades is right under it. Ah, oh, unfortunately, that three of spades is right under it. We can't really do anything right now, unfortunately. Um, so, a seven can be placed right there. That's beautiful. Okay, this is what will allow us to sort of make some more moves on the board um that 10 can be placed there okay now we're going to place this king there right building the pile and so what that will allow us to do is we have a guaranteed pile that's being built down from king this is always the most beneficial thing you can do in solitaire uh, the reason being is that building a pile down from king ensures that there are no high value cards obstructing it, right? This king is obstructing this queen and the, and the resulting piles. And so having the king start a pile is always very, very beneficial. It's the only way you can actually move the king because other than that, you cannot place a king on any card, right? And so it is necessary to perform that maneuver. Luckily for us, we're sort of making a bit of progress here trying our best okay that that was very bad by me in that i did not see that we had a move that was available so i do apologize and that i did not see that move there with a 10. So if we can free up that queen somehow, that would be very, very, very beneficial. Um, other than that, we simply continue playing.
We don't really have cards we could play, unfortunately. Um, we could play that three there. Oh no, that's unfortunate. So Queen of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, five of clubs. We can play that on the six of clubs. That gives us the six of diamonds. Now the six of diamonds won't do anything. Won't be too beneficial on its own. Right? We do get the four of hearts though. And that sort of opens up some possibilities. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move the king there. That frees up that pile as well. And then move the nine. And so we've built this pile quite well as well. Right? Um, so we're starting to sort of make progress here. We have our five of spades. Fortunately, we cannot place it anywhere. And we cannot do anything with our club piles, even though we have built them up quite well. We have a king. And unfortunately, it does not seem like we can really build it properly or do anything with it. And so the king will once again be stuck as well. So that's another ace. That's beautiful, right? At least making some sort of progress. Now we have our six. And so we're sort of hindered right now but in terms of what we can do. We're being obstructed and so we can, the best thing we can do is slowly just uh, keep building. Um, I do want to somehow build onto that 10. Unfortunately, I cannot. Uh, we're missing out on a lot of good opportunities here. And so we have our four of diamonds. That's wonderful. This will free up a pile, right? As soon as you have a pile for which you can make a play on, you free it up and you, I guess, make a play on that pile. We have Would the Jack of Hearts provide any benefit freeing it up? No. Nope. Would the Jack of Diamonds have any benefit from being freed? Not really right now. We're going to keep that pile open just in case we need it. Right? Boom. We needed it right there. We got that done. We're going to move that right there. Move that Jack of Diamonds back. Right? So we still... Well, that was very beneficial. We were able to order that Jack of Diamonds and get it in sequence. And we also kept our empty pile. So we're sort of in a beneficial spot right now, I'm thinking. We have a lot of empty piles for which we can make uh, use of. We have another ace of clubs there. So this is the beauty. Once you get a card and you have your sequence built, you can simply keep playing it like you normally would, right? You've already done the hard work of building the sequence, and you simply keep playing like you normally would. three is quite beneficial to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform a maneuver like so. Oh, that six of spades is beneficial as well. But I do want to save those spaces for cards that I desperately need. So we have our five of hearts now. We can get this foundation pile done. Right? Because we already had the sequence built down. Note that this is a solitary game, right? Josephine does take longer because you do play with two standard 52 card decks rather than just a singular one. So we have our two there. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of. I guess wasting piles like that. And so we'll refrain. We'll hold off. 
we have another pile there and so now we're sort of just waiting on a lot of cards here that would be beneficial Okay, so we're in a bit of a pickle here, okay? Um, if I move this 9 off, I can get that 2 of clubs. I can then go ahead, and I have to make do with what I have, because I can't go through my stockpile again. So I'm going to have to keep as many empty piles as I can. That is the key here right now. Keep as many empty piles as you can. If you can do that, then you are in a good shape. Um, We'll go ahead and move the four of diamonds there. Uh, there's not really any other move that could be made. Fortunately, the jack can't be built anywhere. Neither can this jack. Okay, so we're gonna have to play smart here. Oh no. Yeah, we're gonna have to play smart here. Uh, because we don't have many options. We don't have many things we could do. Oh my goodness. Seems like we're going to lose here. And so it does require a lot of strategy, right? This is a game that is hard to win. Uh, but it also does have a lot of luck in it as well. Um... Like, notice how our very important cards that we need are buried deep down in the pile. Um, so what could we really do here? There's not really much we can do. What we can do is we can move that there. Um, maybe then we need the Ten of Spades somehow. If I could get the Ten of Spades, then we'd be in a good spot. But I cannot. It seems to be hindering my ability to make a move here. So, I think after we place this, we're going to be stuck. Right, so that wraps up how to play Josephine. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, it was a longer video, right, because the, in terms of the gameplay, just showing you how to play. Um, and, and so let us just go through it one more time. Right. In terms of setting the game up, uh, what you're going to want to do is deal four cards each into ten piles. Uh, this set of piles is known as the tableau, right? Uh, and the, all of the cards in the tableau are turned face up. Do note that you need um, two standard 52 card decks. Um, after dealing dealing the cards to the tableau, the remaining cards are set aside, forming a stockpile. Uh, you'll also have an empty waste pile as well as eight empty foundation piles. And on the tableau, cards are played in the descending order in the same suit. Right? So, um, Queen of Spades is one rank lower than the King of Spades, and it's in the same suit. Therefore, we can go ahead and play it like so. Uh, the top card or a group of in sequence cards uh, can be moved around. Um, an empty pile on the tableau can be filled with any card or any sequence of cards. I commonly suggest filling it with the king because that is the only opportunity you have to move a king. Otherwise, you will not ever be able to move a king, right? You can only move it onto an empty pile, essentially. Note that you can draw a card from the stockpile anytime you would like, right? You'll draw one card face up into the waste pile. You are only allowed to go through the stockpile once. You cannot flip it back over and go through a redeal or go through it again. The foundation piles are built from ace to king. Also note that um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the game ends once all cards are moved onto the foundation piles and you'll have won the game. Or if you run out of moves, in which case you'll have lost the game. That wraps up how to play Josephine. Uh, it is a bit of a solitary. It is a solitary card game that takes uh, a bit longer to play. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.